G'day trendsetters. This is the T-Labs X3 All-Terrain Titanium Gravel Bike. The Montreal, Quebec, Canada gravel bike. T-Lab is the brainchild of three former employees of the now defunct Canadian bicycle company, Guru Bicycles. T-Lab is a subsidiary of Visceral Performance, a company who specializes in advanced composite technology. Considering Guru Bicycles formerly manufactured frames from titanium, aluminium, steel and carbon fiber, you can obviously see the connection here. Rob Rossi, the marketing boffin within T-Lab slash Visceral Performance, determined there was enough interest in the market to warrant a brand that specialized in small run, custom oriented frames for the road, gravel and cyclocross markets. T-Lab claims their titanium gravel frame stands above all others in the market. Now, if you base that statement on the shapes of these frame tubes in this frame, you'd have a hard time disputing that claim. I don't have the equipment on hand to measure those claims, but instead I rode the pants of the T-Lab X3 all-terrain titanium gravel bike during this trip to Australia. But before I talk about how it performs and how it rides, I'm going to cover the details of the X3. According to T-Lab, the X3 combines pure speed, exceptional comfort, and assured multi-strata handling. Roughly defined, strata is a number of portions or divisions likened to layers or levels. But in this case, T-Lab is talking about multiple road surfaces. At the root of T-Lab's claims is their proprietary forming technology. This forming technology allows the company to shape seamless grade nine titanium tubing into a unique frame profile that optimizes stiffness to weight ratios, but without any extra heft. T-Lab claimed the X3 has 30% more rigidity versus other leading titanium gravel bikes, but without a harsh ride or other compromises in ride quality. A rider's power transfer is optimized at the front end by the X3's tapered head tube and at the rear and bottom bracket by asymmetrical chain stays and a bottom bracket meeting the BB-86 standard. Features of the T-Lab X3 frame include uniquely profiled top tube designed to support lateral rigidity while augmenting responsiveness and ease of carrying on one's shoulder. A radically formed seat tube designed to withstand heavy duty axial loading while maintaining side to side strength. Tapered all carbon fork supporting the 12 mm through axle standard. A unique one piece dropout design that is replaceable and caters to all wheel standards and in the case of my review bike doubles as a mount for a flat mount rear brake. Room for a 700c by 40mm tyre. Flat mount disc brakes front and rear. Internalised cable routing including DI2 compatibility with the rear brake housing running through the down tube exiting just above the bottom bracket to finish its run along the right side rear chain stay. For group set and wheels, my T-Lab review bike was fitted with Shimano's Ultegra DI2 8050 11 speed hydraulic brake slash electronic shifting drivetrain, whilst wheels are Boyd Cycling's 44 mm carbon clincher model, which I later set up for tubeless. And finally, each T-Lab X3 frame set is made to order based on rider specifications and discipline, whether that be for gravel and adventure or cyclocross. For the record, I chose stock geometry on the review bike. The only wheel set I used during the review was the 700C Boyd Cycling 44 mm carbon clincher disc brake wheel set. However, I did attempt to use a 650B wheel set, but more on that in a moment. Panerace's Gravel King SK tubeless tyres in 700C by 35mm and Maxxis Rambler EXO TR tubeless tyres in 700C by 40mm. T-Lab state the X3 will fit a 700C by 40mm tyre which proved to be accurate but I would still like to see clearance improved a little to somewhere around 700C by 45mm. This would especially be handy in preventing mud pack up. As you can see from the Rambler tire, 
there is a decent amount of room around a 40 millimeter wide tire, but that is sometimes dependent on the rim a tire is mounted to. Still, compared to other bikes I've seen, clearance is quite good. I did attempt to use WTB's 650B by 42 millimeter Resolute tire mounted to an American Classic wide lightning wheel set, but clearance was non-existent on the drive side. In T-Lab's defense, this bike was never intended for 650B wheels and tires. The T-Lab X3 is touted as a bike with traits such as speed, comfort and rigidity. I have no way of scientifically measuring frame deflection or bottom bracket stiffness, but I felt the bike held up to these claims regardless of whether I was riding in or out of the saddle. I could feel no measurable flex or deflection at the front end or bottom bracket area, even if I made a concerted effort to stomp hard onto the pedals. Additionally, the bike remained noise-free during the review period, which ran for about five weeks. Most of my riding on the T-Lab X3 was in Australia and sometimes over some pretty rough gravel roads. The wheelbase is about two to three centimeters shorter than some comparable titanium bikes I have ridden, but I was pleased with how responsive the frame was during acceleration, but without any compromises in stiffness or comfort. The T-Lab X3 is definitely a top level performance titanium slash adventure bike. The uniquely profiled frame tubes of the X3 are beautiful. The titanium frames of most competitors are left raw and unpainted, but the X3's paint treatment is gorgeous, almost too good to get dirty. Another positive, wherever I took this bike, it drew attention. The X3 is such a cool bike and a nice departure from virtually everything else on the market today. I almost forgot about the tapered all-carbon T-Lab fork, which should say something about its performance. It may be svelte and delicate in appearance, but it tracks predictably and is very resilient. It's a great match to its namesake frame. The T-Lab X3 loves to climb. The wider than usual BB86 bottom bracket definitely lends itself well to out of the saddle climbing and because of the X3 shorter wheelbase, the bike feels akin to a high performance road bike, but with the comfy factor of bigger and cushier tires. I would have no qualms about slapping a pair of 28 mm road tires on this bike and knocking out a serious road ride or two. There are no surprises with the through axle interfaces. They definitely stiffen up the hubs, meaning no brake rotor rub or other nonsense. As a side note, the boy quick release through bolts must be properly tightened or else they will loosen off and begin rattling around. On descents, the bike is capable and predictable. It felt a little quicker handling than some of the other titanium bikes I have ridden, but not to the point of being overly quick as with a cyclocross bike. Honestly, the X3 felt absolutely spot on, again, akin almost to a high performance road bike. For much of the review, I rode Panerace's Gravel King SK tire in 700C by 35mm. On the Boyd wheels, these tires measure about 38mm. At no time did I feel handicapped riding slightly narrower tires. I am unsure how aero a pair of deep section wheels is with a big gravel tire mounted, especially when you're chugging along on the gravel, but I'm down with the placebo effect. Look fast feel fast and ride fast. Additionally, I find 700C wheels roll better over the bigger hits, which is an asset when flying down a sketchy mountain pass. The other thing to mention is the tough and resilient nature of titanium and its killer ride quality on gravel. The T-Lab X3 is a top tier performance titanium gravel bike and one I would recommend to someone looking for all out performance on gravel. Rack mounts are an option on the bike, but I feel there are better options for touring or bike packing if that is your thing. Tire clearance is good and was perfect for everything I put the bike through, but those seeking a little bit more, such as for mud clearance, may want to consider another option. I mentioned this before, I chose some stock geometry, but the X3 is available in full custom geometry at an upcharge. With all of this said, the T-Lab X3 is a very unique and special bike. 
I purposely requested this review bike be painted in white and fitted with a white saddle and bar tape, a look I absolutely love, which only adds to the classy nature of the X3. The T-Lab X3 isn't a budget bike and thus isn't for everyone, but in my opinion, the X3 is priced well for what it is. It's a beautiful and unique handmade in Canada gravel slash adventure bike that will deliver performance and a massive smile on your face. I love this bike and I really do not want to return it. Be sure to check T-Lab's website for pricing, sizing, paint colors, and other build options. I hope you found this review to be helpful and insightful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and check out our other content on gravelcyclist.com. And for the absolute latest bike tech and rumors, please visit my friends at bikerumor.com. Thanks for watching.